this is the last try because we're going to get it right. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for coming to my channel. My name is Ariana Marche. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you back again, what's up, girl? This segment of my channel is called Divine Guidance, where I help guide you through life and all its dilemmas. And today's topic is get you some boundaries, girl. I want to start with a quick Bible verse, and it is Proverbs 17 and 14. And it says, the beginning of strife is like letting out water. So quit before the quarrel breaks out. And basically, this verse calls for you to be the bigger person. I'm pretty sure we've all been in some pretty hurtful situations that didn't leave us feeling like our best and where we said pretty hurtful things. And had we had better boundaries in place, we could have known what to do and how to react in that situation. So here are some tips to help you have better boundaries. Tip number one, know your limits. Know what you are willing to accept and not willing to accept. Therefore, you won't fall into the trap of giving more than you receive. And you also will be able to let people know who you are up front and you will also learn them as well. Sometimes we pour into people a little too soon or if they have poured into us just a little bit we tend to give them more than what they've already given us and sometimes it kind of makes it transactional and even if it doesn't really become transactional people will end up falling in love with your hand instead of your heart so you have to know your limits on what you're going to do what you're going to accept and what you're not going to do or accept Tip number two, know your values. If you have things that are important to you and not worth losing or risking, these are the type of things that you should keep in mind when unpleasant situations pop up. Therefore, it's going to help you keep self-control and it'll teach you how to act in a certain situation so that you're not really acting off of just pure emotions because things like that is like how they call it um crimes of passions happen like somebody is like super super mad they're super angry and just in the moment they're gonna do whatever the first thing comes to their mind and boom they snap and that's why we have all of these crazy TV shows about people doing crazy things in the heat of the moment when I'm pretty sure that if they had something to think about or, you know, kids, maybe a career, anything, if they had kept those things in mind, they maybe would have slowed down. Even if the situation was just truly hurtful, truly painful, like, yes, you could have been very upset and that is okay we all get upset sometimes but it's the acting out of emotions that will put us in situations and places that we regret and tip number three listen to your emotions now i know that's kind of a contradiction to point number two but let me explain so when a feeling arises about a particular person situation whatever the case may be don't bury it like you need to be able to listen to yourself and know why it is that you're feeling the way that you feel and remember pressure busts pipes so when you're sitting there and you're holding it in you're not speaking on it or you're not even trying to like evaluate it that's why i stress to y'all in every video you need to be journaling writing that stuff down so you can clearly think and figure out why it is that you feel the way that you feel. You don't want to have all of these feelings building up because it's going to not only cause resentment in yourself, but towards whatever the person or the situation is. I remember times in my life where there were situations that I did not like with people that I truly did love. And instead of me speaking up or saying something, I kind of just let it build knowing that on the inside like i'm feeling the type of way and i'm getting real pissed off so by the time that i finally do speak on it or say something it's just like you know 
like a big explosion or I'm not expressing it the way that I initially wanted to express it because I never really sat, took the time to think it out or really say it in a way that's not as offensive to the person because at the end of the day if you do decide that you are going to speak up or say something you still want to come at the person in a nice demeanor because just imagine going up to somebody going off rah 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 and you cursing and doing all of this extra stuff everything that you're saying to them is just gonna go straight out the window it's, it's not even gonna matter what you say because all they're gonna see is the way that you're acting and not what you're saying and so i can remember two different scenarios where a while back i had a friend that used to do all sorts of crazy stuff cross all sorts of boundaries and i didn't say nothing and by the time that i did it was like basically girl what's up <laughs> like what do you want to do why are you acting like that like you got me messed all the way up and that situation really didn't work out because by this time it's just like okay well you talking about this situation this happened oh so long ago i don't even care no more you should have said something then hurt my feelings but at the end of the day it was some truth to it but at that in that same breath it's like it showed me okay obviously this ain't a real friend anyways because the point is if i'm speaking up now regardless of how long ago he was you will take accountability in some way form or fashion so that didn't work out and another time in my personal life with family and this time i did exercise okay let me not get up go crazy do the most let me go and speak like i got <laughs> good sense and then of course it wasn't me that flipped it was the other person and people get the gaslighting and don't want to do that but at the end of the day i have to stay true to myself and also the things that i get on this youtube and teach because it would be very hypocritical of me to get on here and teach y'all something and then not follow those things myself so learn your emotions first focus on you see if there's anything wrong with you first are you misunderstanding it or anything before you decide to go and just act out of character because eventually eh, eventually pressure will buzz pipes and you don't want it to get to that point where you're just sitting in that and it's just boiling and festering up okay sis and tip number four learn to say no and be assertive when you're saying it remember you show people how to treat you and when you're always giving in to others all the time knowing that it's something that you don't want to do or don't necessarily have the means to be able to do it you're disrespecting yourself you're not respecting yourself and yes you still want to remain in your energy and remain the bigger person however you don't have to tussle and go back and forth no is a full answer a full and complete sentence you don't have to go back and forth you don't got to tussle you don't have to explain or do any of that no is a complete sentence period point blank and now there are going to be some people who in any situation would just hate to give you your respect or to treat you like a human being period but at the end of the day whether they respect you or not, you have to love yourself enough to respect yourself. And when you're always giving in to others, knowing that it's not what you want to do, they can sense that. And you don't want to keep that going on because usually these are going to be the people that when you do decide to work on yourself, start putting up your boundaries, they're not going to like it. Anybody that does not like when you put up boundaries and try to work on yourself or it's people that benefit from you being at your lowest. So no matter what, stick to it and learn to say no. The more you learn to say no, the easier it's going to get over time. However, you just have to be prepared at what may come with that. So if you are in a situation where you aren't as independent or you're having to ask for help or people are offering help 
then it would be in your best bet to go ahead and start working on that and getting a little bit of independence. I know it's not easy, especially when you have people that are ready to talk down on you or throw things that they've done for you in your face and that's completely fine like i said before you're gonna have to learn how to be your own cheerleader and make something shake all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and remember to please be sharing these videos all right thank you see you in the next one Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to get back on here for a quick second and give you guys a update. So, I said that I was going to be doing a 21-day social media fast, and I actually wanted to document it for you guys. However, my life has took a huge, drastic skirt, skirt, 360. <laughs> so... The way that I wanted to go about like documenting it and everything is not going to be that way because I'm having to reroute things. So I'm not really going to have as much time to pour into it. However, I'm still not going to be on the social media, but I'm still going to go ahead and do a 21 day. Actually, I want to change it to 30 now at this point because maybe we're going to make it a little bit more interesting. But I'm thinking about changing it to 30, still documenting it, but it's just going to have to be at a later time. And for the original one that I did start, I have the days like one through three on there. I'm going to go ahead and leave that up. And so that way, when I do another one, I'll go ahead and let you guys know, like, we're going to call it the, the 30 day social media reset, baby. But I'm going to go ahead and leave the originals up there and as soon as i can i'll try to give you guys another update on that but as of right now it's come to a halt but i'm still gonna be you know away from the social media the only thing is i'm not going to be able to do the journey the way that i wanted it to because i had stuff planned around that time so that i could actually be seeing changes but we're not going to be able to do that right now so <sighs> Like I said, I'll give you guys an update as soon as I can. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.